I witnessed your trick with a tablecloth. That's brilliant. Were you once a waiter or...? Hello, my name is Matt Ricardo, and for whatever it's worth, I am something of an expert in the old tablecloth trick. <laughs> See? Told ya. So, in this video, we're going to take a look at a few of the times the tablecloth trick has been done in films and on television, and I'm going to tell you which ones were real and which ones were fake. Okay, what's first? We gotta get this in the clear. Wait, 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 wait. I've always wanted to do this. And the flowers are still standing. Okay, on my go. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that is obviously completely real, and honestly, I bet Bill Murray was a little bit disappointed that more things didn't fall off the table, because that's funnier. And yes, quite often in the bar after one of my shows, people will come up to me or, or shout from across the bar, and the flowers are still standing! Seeing the trick fail spectacularly is arguably as entertaining as seeing somebody like me do it right. Quite often when I get asked to go on TV to do it, the plan is that I demonstrate the trick right and then the host or celebrity tries it and makes a huge mess. Best of both worlds, I guess. Oh yes, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. I love the way Lou Costello reacts to him doing this. It's the classic unexpected success take. And then breaking the fourth wall, looking right down the lens and smiling at the audience before remembering that he's being chased by a Frankenstein. Okay, a Frankenstein's monster. Happy now? But it is obviously fake. The objects are attached to the wall behind them by wires. You can see this for two reasons. Uh, number one, after he's pulled the tablecloth, the statue is hovering about half an inch off the top of the table. And also, one of the candlesticks wobbles uh, after he's pulled it because the cloth brushes against it. But it wobbles on one axis and it goes backwards and forwards, which it, that wouldn't happen, of course. But it's a lovely gag. This is Jeremy Brett playing Sherlock Holmes, and it makes perfect sense that the world's greatest detective would also be a master of circus skills, I guess. This is a pretty bad fake, to be honest. It looks like they went with an old musical method. The objects are glued or nailed to the table, and the tablecloth has slits cut in it. So the tablecloth is arranged carefully around the objects with the slits facing away from the camera behind the objects, and then if you pull the tablecloth hard enough, the cloth just goes around the objects and comes right off. The giveaway here is that when he pulls the tablecloth, the objects and the table move in exactly the same way. They don't move independently of each other. Also, one of the teaspoons jumps right out of the saucer because it wasn't literally nailed down like everything else. Elementary. This is interesting. For a film with so much CGI and special effects, this is exactly what it appears to be. Now, everything I've read about this one says that Jim Carrey was supposed to get it wrong, to pull the cloth and everything falls off and it's funny, but then on the first take, just by chance, he managed to nail it and get it completely right, and then he improvised running back and pushing everything off the table. I don't buy it. The things on the table are heavy and flat and unbreakable, so exactly the kind of things you'd choose to have on the table if you were anticipating multiple takes to try and get the trick right. If you were planning to get it wrong, then you'd get a few boxes of stuff that would smash. That's funnier, right? Also, there's an overhang of the tablecloth on Jim Carrey's side of the table, which makes the trick easier. If you wanted to make it harder and have it fail, you'd have that extra cloth on the far side behind all the objects. Also, it's just a much more interesting gag to have the character get it right and then push everything onto the floor out of spite anyway. 
So yeah, they made it easy for him, but he legitimately did the trick. I witnessed your trick with a tablecloth. <laughs> That's brilliant. Were you once a waiter or...? Now I know for a fact that Henry Cavill did this trick completely legitimately and for real, and I know that he nailed it on pretty much every single take. I know this because he had a good teacher. So yeah, this is one of the times that I've been brought in to be a consultant on a film project. I was there to choose which objects go on the table, where they go, uh, how best to set up the shot so that the trick looks good, and obviously to train Henry in pulling the tablecloth. It was a really fun experience, he picked it up really quickly and I was there on set when this was shot. And also, I really like the context that the trick is used in, a, a cool dude in a suit doing an offhand bit of cool trickery to seem pretty slick. I have no idea why that would appeal to me. Okay then, so we start with this guy doing the trick on a small table with only a few objects, but he's doing it legitimately. This is what's called in magic and con tricks as a convincer. We know that he can do it on a small table for real, so when we see him try it with a bigger table, we think, well, there's probably a good chance he can do that too. He's won our trust. But it is obviously fake. The table is too long, the bike is going too slowly, and the physics wouldn't let it work for like 12 different scientific reasons. My suspicion is that they've used a pretty simple practical effect. It could be CGI, but my money is on one simple bit of prop trickery that means that things aren't quite what they appear to be. But don't take my word for it, Mythbusters proved it. They faked it! Yeah, they faked it. They faked it. Who likes magic? I do! I know a trick. Chuck? <gasps> oh, Chuck, what are you doing? What? <sighs> okay, so this is from the show Chuck. And first things first, the fakest part of this whole clip is somebody saying, does anybody like magic? And someone else saying, yes. Come on. So not only do they cut away from the close-up on Chuck as soon as the trick happens, but when they cut to the shot of the tablecloth, you can't even see any hands pulling it. So, yeah, my bet is this is CGI. And not great CGI. The fact that nothing on the table moves at all, not even the one knife that has one end on a plate and one end on the tablecloth, nah. As uh, my fellow Londoners say, nah, mate. Fake. They pulled a cloth from a completely empty table and then added all the objects using CGI later. And CGI is expensive. I can only wonder if it might have been cheaper to just fly me in to do the trick for real, but I don't want to take work away from any creatives. Oh yes, we saved the best till last. The mighty Jackie Chan. It's real. Like, pretty much everything Jackie Chan does, it's real. That's the point of Jackie Chan. That's a decent sized table, fully laden, and he pulls the cloth perfectly in the middle of a fight scene. I love Jackie Chan. And of course, one of the reasons he can do this is that he was trained from childhood in a Peking opera school. Uh, it's an art form that comprises martial arts, acrobatics, clowning, and circus skills. Jackie Chan has built a career with his astonishing, genuine physical skills, so you can bet that if Jackie Chan is doing something in a film, especially from this part of his career, Jackie Chan is really doing it. And just to make sure that we know, he includes some extra rehearsal footage during the end credits. I hope you enjoyed this little look at various tablecloths being pulled off by various people in various things. If you did, then please do subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you think I might have missed one, then leave your suggestion in the comments under this video and maybe I'll do a follow-up. All of my videos are supported by my backers over at Patreon, so a big thanks to them for that as always. And if you'd like to see what you get by signing up, there's a link under this video. And if you happen to be around London, England, I am doing some live shows, so come and see what I really do. Again, details under the video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.